Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is Lester Diaz and today we're going to talk about Facebook instant articles and I'm going to show you what it actually looks like once you have an approved account inside one of my Facebook pages. And I'm also going to talk to you about the benefits of using it versus not using it. So the first thing I'm going to talk to you about is what exactly is Facebook instant articles? How does it work and why are not a lot of people using it? as they should. I mean, there's a lot of big companies out there that are using it, like BuzzFeed, for example. They actually are using Facebook instant articles. Not a lot uh, of times. They don't use it for all their articles, but they are actually using it. Um, and how, how does it work? Well, very simple. If you browse Facebook on your phone, most likely you've seen uh, uh, those articles that when you click on it, they actually open instantly on your phone. And I think CNN is one of those companies that actually use Facebook instant articles. Um, and they're pretty convenient because you know you don't have to wait for your website to load and basically you get to the content really fast and on top of that you can actually make money with Facebook instant articles and that's what we're going to talk about today and I'm going to post below this video on the description I'm going to post a link to this page uh, this is where you can sign up for uh, Facebook instant articles it's not complicated they actually show you how to do it and what you need and and I'm gonna show you how I actually have multiple Facebook pages with Facebook instant articles they have different content on different niches and what I do is I actually outsource most of the content for all those pages and uh, people create content they post uh, the, you know the articles blogs and things like that uh, videos on the Facebook pages and I make money for that and the thing is the bigger the audience the more likely I am to make money this is one of the pages that I have uh, that is using Facebook instant articles right now and the page um, I created the page within you know a day and basically what I did is set up some uh, you know a nice cover a profile picture things like that I did a Facebook ad to get some likes on the page because you, you don't want to apply for Facebook instant articles with zero likes you've got to have at least 100 200 likes and get some content on that page uh, because you do need a Facebook page you can't do this without a Facebook page you know you can't actually apply for Facebook instant articles with just your website and that's it you do need a Facebook page so if you have a Facebook page uh, you don't need a hundred thousand followers to apply uh, if you have 200 followers uh, 300 fans whatever that is 300 likes uh, you can actually apply for Facebook instant articles and it's actually fairly easy to do um, what do you need exactly well perhaps a few um, articles share on there too um, you do need a website or a blog where you actually gonna post the content and then it's gonna be transformed into a Facebook instant article so what do you need well you need to create 10 articles that's it that's all you need you need a Facebook page and once you have your Facebook page where you have some content on, on your Facebook page that uh, I'm talking about photos and videos and then you can set up a blog about anything that you want in fact you can go to a website like Fiverr for example you can pay you know someone five dollars to create an article for you or you can get go to uh, another website like Upwork for example upwork.com and you can hire someone to create 10 articles for you it's actually uh, you can do it very cheaply it'll cost you 20 bucks or something like that if you don't want to write the content yourself and you that way because you do need to make sure that the content is 100 percent unique that it's not being you know taken from another website or anything like that it has to be unique so once you have that very easy to do guys if you don't um, have the content if you don't know what to write about or whatever that is you will need to wait at least three to five days to hear back from facebook facebook is going to tell you hey you're approved or you need to fix this once you fix this we'll actually look at uh, your account and we'll let you know uh, whether or not you're in but most of the time if there's something wrong that you need to fix once you fix it and you submit the review once more they actually approve your account fairly quick so you don't need to worry about if you if you don't get approval the first time you can resubmit that review and most likely you'll be approved unless you're posting something that they don't really like the next step will be monetization and this is uh this is where you actually set up facebook audience network now think of facebook audience network like google adsense google adsense actually pays people to uh, put ads on their website and once people actually visitors go to the website and actually click on those ads they pay you a commission uh, per click commission now 
Facebook audience networks works differently. They don't pay you per click. They pay you on how many people actually view those ads on your website, especially using Facebook instant articles. So one of the things that I like to do is I like to create very big articles, maybe you know, 500, 600 words. And in between those articles, Facebook audience network will automatically place ads inside of the article. So once you get, you know, something like 10,000 visitors in a single day, an article that actually goes viral, then you can make a lot of money in a single day because that article actually went viral. And that actually has happened to me before. I had an article that actually went viral with uh, something like 40,000 visitors in a single day. I think that day I made over $400 using Facebook instant articles and that, that was crazy because I didn't promote it or anything like that. It's just something that people liked. And because you're using the power of Facebook, when people actually share and like something on your face on Facebook, their friends see it. So you get, you have the potential of actually people sharing that content even more and you're getting more free traffic. You're not actually sending that traffic somewhere else. So uh, that's one of the benefits. The other benefit that I see is that I hear a lot of people say, um, hey Lester, but uh, if I'm not sending the traffic, if I'm leaving all the traffic on, on, on Facebook instant articles, then I'm missing out on some other stuff on my website because I'm not sending people to my website. And I think it's true in some case, but I think you can work around that. For example, uh, they have introduced this new feature called call to action units. And, and I found it actually very helpful, especially when you're growing a brand new page and you want to get, you know, 50,000 likes, something like that. Then what you need to do is you can set up a call to action unit. Um, you can see it right here. Basically, you can set up an email newsletter. Uh, you can set up a page likes call to action, meaning that they'll see once they are actually browsing on their phone an, an article, they'll see a little box saying, hey, like our page. And, you know, people are reading your article and they can like the page from within the article without actually going somewhere else. So that's actually pretty cool, pretty helpful as well when you're growing a brand new page. I've used it multiple times. And you can even set up an uh, email newsletter. So if you want to build the list of people who read your content so you can you know, promote something to them later, or you simply want to share more articles with them later on, you can actually set up an email newsletter where uh, a box will open and they can sign up with a single touch. They don't have to enter the email address. Because it's already done automatically. So that's actually pretty cool. Once you do that, um, uh, you're building a list and you, you're not putting all your eggs in one basket, meaning that is, if something happens uh, and your Facebook uh, instant articles goes away because it has happened before, they can actually take the monetization out of it, then you can have, uh, you build your list of followers on Facebook or you build your list of, uh, of email subscribers that you can continue to send uh, content so you can get more traffic so that's one way and the other thing is you can monetize the traffic that is not coming from mobile browsers meaning that facebook instant articles only works on mobile phones if you have a smartphone and you're browsing facebook on the facebook app then you'll see facebook instant articles on that feed but if you're browsing facebook on your desktop for example then when they click on it, it it'll take them to the actual website and you can monetize that traffic with Google AdSense, which is what I do. That way you're building two income streams and you're not actually depending on one, although you're actually gonna get more traffic on the mobile side than the desktop side. So that's something to keep in mind. So guys, that's basically all my initial tips. I've been using for past, uh, I would say 12 months, been going pretty well. I have multiple Facebook pages with Facebook instant articles and they actually make me different types of amounts of money. You can see my previous video, I show you some income proof that you in fact can make some good money with Facebook instant articles and you can apply yourself. So thank you very much for watching this video. I'll make sure that I'll keep uploading videos on a weekly basis and even daily basis if I can. Uh, but for now, just subscribe to my channel and I'll appreciate it a lot and I'll see you guys on the next video.